I'm Lynn Bruning. Um, I, my studio is based out of Denver, Colorado, and I do wearable technology. Um, my background, I have my undergraduate degree in neurophysiology, my master's in architecture, and I do textiles. Okay. <laughs> I, go, I went back to what I truly love. Yeah. But because of my scientific background, I incorporate the wearable tech in such a way that addresses medical issues and psychological issues. So I'm much more concerned about adaptive technology and how do you use how do you use the computers and wearable computers in order to help people have a better life? Adaptive technology is a broad term of which people use to help the underserved and the disadvantaged. So that could be a light switch that operates a different way. It could be a foot pedal that turns your lights on and off. For me, adaptive technology combined with wearable is how do I put on a garment of which then interacts with my surroundings and my built environment in such a way that I can function better, faster, and easier. Yeah. So with a back coat, it's how do you take somebody that uses a cane to get around and give them a coat of which has ultrasonic rangefinders in it, vibrators in it, so that one, I don't have to be seen as disadvantaged. I don't have to have a cane to navigate the environment. I can just wear a coat, I can blend in with society, and be fashionable. <laughs> so what would you say to people that are just getting into the idea? Do of it. Where, yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't yeah. hesitate. Yeah? And so what's harder? We like to ask all of our people, sewing or the electronics? Or is there anything that you would say is like your favorite part? As a scientist, did you know how to sew before you got started? I come from a family of uh, sewers and weavers. Ah, okay. So my entire life is is Craft. actually in fabric. Yeah. Um, like I have quilts from my great grandmother. Yeah. I have their wedding quilt. Oh wow. So oh, the that's whole beautiful. family has this whole history in textiles. So for me, it's a natural progression. And then with my science background, it's yeah. so simple for me to look at a problem especially with the neurophysiology, which is all circuitry anyway. I'm just changing scale. Yeah. Um, a synapse is a synapse is a circuit. Yeah. Um, and you were saying that maybe fabrics are kind of a fascination of yours. Are you always looking for new fabrics? How do you, how do you figure that out? How do you find that? I actually, my family is known for traveling the world, <laughs> and the first place we stop is a fabric store. Oh, awesome. Like, okay. if I land in Berlin, I know where all the stores are. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's awesome. And I also, it's, it's fabulous because of the internet and all of my social networks. I can go to, like I landed in Barcelona last year and I immediately ended up in some Weaver studio. And so she's showing me new techniques. When I publish articles on how to weave conductive fabric, I have people in London, New Zealand, Thailand that are all sitting down at their loom and working this system out and sending me progress. So that's that's what I'll be doing this summer is writing the next article on how to weave. Okay, Lynn Bruning's Maker Fair Moment 2010. Okay. Nine-year-old girl comes up to my booth and she's talking to me about the back coat and electronics. Uh-huh. Totally fascinated by it asking me really good questions. She knows textiles. So I ask her, does she weave? She's a weaver. So we start talking about how to weave cloth and conductive cloth, totally into it, totally excited. And I tell her, you know, you can email me anytime. Here's my card, email me, send me photos, talk to me about what's important to you and I'll help you. And her mother looks at me and says, aren't you in Denver? I say, yes. So are we. So I look at the girl, and I don't remember her name, I look at this sweet, sweet little face, and I go, so, you're in Denver, you want to come to my studio? And her eyes get big. And I go, you know, I'm doing costumes for this big performance with Zoe Keating at the Colorado Music Festival. Do you want to help me make the costumes this summer? Yes. <laughs> oh so gosh. she's going to come to my studio this summer and work with me. Oh, I love it. That's my maker pair. That's an awesome maker pair. That's what it's all about.